welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna go i think i'm saying it right a more us usa if i'm saying it right so you guys know i'm obsessed with frozen whoever knows me and whoever doesn't know me well now you know so i'm gonna go over the snow queen palette i'll show you the packaging i already did open it the other day i just did not swap any shades or anything like that so we're gonna do that today then i'll do a quick look and hopefully you guys like it now it's in here i'm gonna open that up and this is what you have so it's pretty colorful so i'm gonna jump right into it i'm also gonna talk in another video about things i've gotten so far from the end of december till now and things i'm still waiting that are ordered but they haven't arrived yet so i will talk about that towards the end along with this palette i did get a 3d mink lashes so i'm gonna unpackage that and i also got a lip liner pencil that's waterproof and this color is called natural and that's it right there so I'm gonna try all these three things and hopefully you'll like it. So in this one, I'm showing you the Age Rewind Instant Eraser Dark Circles by Maybelline New York. You guys may have seen this in my other videos. I use it all the time. I really like it. Um, I did order the Pia Louise, if I'm not saying it wrong, in my next order. So we're gonna go over that. Everybody raves about it, but I've always used this as my base for my eyes, and it's never failed me, so. Right now, I'm putting on the brush. It is the concealer F75, and as you already know, I use the Sigma brushes only. I so far, I use those. The 360 Beauty from CVS as well as the Ulta Beauty brushes, which is the brow brush, and as well as the eyeshadow brush. You will see them all throughout. So right now I'm just spreading that around and above my eyebrow as well, just to make myself more even out. Now I'm doing the other eye, same thing I'm gonna do. So I was really excited to see the movie. I ended up seeing it and you know, the calling is always in my head now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have the same problems I do. <laughs> I did go see today Star Wars again because my fiance's father didn't come with us originally. So we went today and I can't. I like really like Kylo Ren. So I was very disappointed again. So now I finished that. So I'm going to start with this color first, which is Castle, the top corner there. And I'm going to apply that to the top of my, well, underneath my brow, I guess you could say. And I'm just gonna spread that all throughout. I like using a big brush. As you can see, I have a lot of space from my brow and my eyes in general. So I try to use up that space as much as I can. I have really big eyes, so yeah. Now I'm going in with that beautiful blue color and that's Elsa. And I'm going to put that right underneath Castle, right by where my crease is, pretty much. And I'm going to use the It Cosmetics brush. It does not have a name, unfortunately. I usually start towards the outer of my eye and then work my way towards in. And then just pretty much basically blend it all together, um, back and forth, sweep type of thing. I find it that my eyeshadow just lasts longer and just stays longer for whatever reason when I just blend it out and sweep it out. 
versus just caking a color in there and just not blending it. It just doesn't last as long. So that's just a little trick I was told and it works for me. Obviously I'm not a makeup artist. Would I want to be? Yes. Um, but for now, I'm just focusing on posting videos. I really like it and I would love to engage with people more often. I really love makeup, so I like talking about it. You know, not all, every product is gonna be the same for everyone. You really have to know the ingredients as well. Make sure that you're not allergic. I'm really big into that. I'm gonna go in with that green color and it's called Homeland. And I'm going to put that towards the outer side of my eye versus the inner corner. We're going to do something fun on the inner corner and the middle section of my eye. Right now, I'm just blending that color towards the outer edge. It's a really pigmented, pretty color. I really like it. If you haven't seen the movie yet, Water Horse um, relates to the movie, so check that out. And the color really represents it. I really like it. So that color I'm going to put towards the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to work it towards the middle. Just kind of blend it with the green just a little bit, not too much. There you go. I'm just dusting that off. Now I'm going in back with the concealer with the concealer brush by Sigma and I'm just creating kind of like a line for the eyes so I could put the other colors in there. And I'm gonna use total, let's see, three mainly where I'm doing the concealer. Um, one on the outer edge, the middle, and then towards the inner corner of my eye. And you will see the final product and I really, really like it. I had to think about it a couple of tries to kind of be like, oh, what is it that I want to use? What colors, you know? And I wanted something more like nature, but natural. Um, as you guys know, I'm a natural girl, so. I could have my dramatic moments, but mostly I'm more of a natural girl. So I wanted something earthy, but a little bit more fun to it. So yeah, so now that that's done, we're gonna go in with, let's see, I gotta open the palette cause I can't remember the damn names. Can't remember the names. Memories. I'm gonna go in with Memories, which is like a dark chocolate mocha color. Just like the one from Natasha Denona. If you haven't seen my video on that, check it out on IG, as well as my other channel on YouTube. I mean, same channel. <laughs> Two channels, whoa, no, just one. Obviously, Samantha G Beauty. So we're going in with that color. Now I'm gonna go in with that pretty green color. It reminds me like Bob's Ross show when he used to add like a little extra of that green color to the bushes to make it look like kind of summery fallish look. So that's what I'm doing in a way, but I'm not Bob Ross. That's the only difference. I wish. <laughs> So we're doing that and that's going to be basically my middle and now we're going to go towards the inner corner of my eye and we're going to use a really really fun color and it's called well i'm going to use my ulta beauty eyeshadow brush first and i'm going to use magic power in the palette so it's like a pressed glitter 
orangey type of tone but it has like other specks of glitter in there with different colors so i don't know if you guys know that know this but when it comes to glitters any pressed glitters or any shimmers i really like to spray the brush first and then go in and pick up that color and kind of dust it off a little bit just because you don't want to fall out it took me some time to realize this because i had no idea how to do it in the beginning and then yeah i just started doing that you know and doing other things that other youtubers were doing so far this works for me and it holds pretty well so you can see that it kind of has a lot of shimmers to it it has some gold in there some like lime green i'm not sure what color but it's a little bit of everything i love it and now we're gonna go in with a color called stellar and it's a blue pressed eyeshadow with glitter in it as well which looks like pinkish whitish i guess you could say it's a pretty outstanding color I really like it. I don't know who wouldn't. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you. You don't know much about life then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's a really pretty color. See, look at that blue. And I slowly put it towards there. I really don't want to go in crazy. Like I said, I want more of a natural look. So I'm going very softly with these colors, especially on that press glitter. I don't want it to smudge everywhere. This is why I don't put too much. Now I'm going to go with the Dior Stage Eyeliner. As you know, I did a video about this already. I did get it in the matte blue and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Takes me a while to do eyeliner, I'm not gonna lie, it took some time. I think I learned how to do eyeliner when I was like 13 maybe, I'm gonna say. And I've always done it like that with a wing, sometimes without a wing. As you know already, Kat Von D, the infamous tattoo liner. If you don't have it, please get it. It is crucial to have this liner. It is perfect. It doesn't ink everywhere. It just stays in one that one spot. And it's amazing. That's all I have to say. So I'm just putting that towards the inner and then towards the middle to blend with that matte blue eyeliner that I did. There you go. So I put some concealer and now I'm going with the brush and just cutting off the color towards the end. Kind of, you always want to cut like pretty much towards where your eyeliner is. And just cut that. And make it beautiful. Look what a little bit of concealer did. Amazing. And then to clear it, clear it out just a little, I guess you could just go with a beauty blender sponge or something like that. So right now I just put the lashes on with the duo, what is it? The duo adhesive white clear glue. And I'm just pressing on it so it could dry easier and bam, that's really it. You just put it on top of your lashes that's it and if you got to push more a little bit grab like a thin end brush and just kind of push it in the glue kind of got stuck there for a minute so ended up fixing that after a while now i'm putting adventure on my lower lash line and i'm gonna mix that with the other color that's earth which i'll just show you in a minute so funny story about my eye contacts I meant to order hazel and ended up getting honey. So I'm too lazy to return them now. And 
I already threw out my last pair of contacts that were clear. I usually wear clear. So I'm just going to stick with it, guys. Let me know what you think. Too alienish looking? It's just too much? I guess after I'm done using all of them, I'll just go back to clear contacts. I have gray ones. Those were pretty nice. So I'm going to go in with the calligraphy gel cream liner eyeliner yeah there you go and this one's the hyper black they got some other colors too that you could try and it comes with a little brush that you can use there you go and i really love this cream eyeliner it stays on all day doesn't smudge if you know how to put it on appropriately and it's really good so and there's a lot of product in there if you're worried about spending you know x y z i think this is worth it um you don't have to use it just on the other underline lash i mean your lower lash obviously you could use it on the top as well and i really like it it's just really pigmented now i'm just going with that same mascara i talked about earlier on my lower lash. So because I want more of a natural vibe look, I go very little on the concealer, on the Maybelline, which is the same one I used for earlier for my eyelids. I'm just gonna cover whatever little specky dots I see that I need to cover. There isn't much, but I'm also very like very pinkish on my cheeks and certain areas of my face, so. I just covered those with um, the Maybelline Eraser for Dark Circles, the treatment concealer. I go very little with contouring, if you want to, very little. And I draw a line like that, and I'm using the Fenty Matchstick by Rihanna, and I'm using the color Truffle. A really good color for contouring i honestly think you don't need anything else but that and blend that out with a beauty blender and just go back and forth and it'll be good any leftover product you could kind of put on the rest of your face and your forehead if you want and just kind of damp it in there and then blend it out and it really works guys now I'm going in with that lip liner that I talked about earlier that I also got along with this package and I'm just going to line my lips and it's a really good color. Let's see. So I do an overnight lip treatment. Uh, sometimes it works. There are some days where I don't know, my skin is not cooperating. So it's very hard for me. I am having gum surgery soon on both sides, and I'm having a tooth extracted on the right side. It got a fracture, and I've had this issue before. Unfortunately, I have osteoporosis, and um, I also have gingivitis, so... It was getting better, and then it got worse. I did wear braces for a lot of years, so that does not help to begin with when it comes to your teeth. Um, my teeth were kind of like V-shaped inward, and I had to use braces to correct that for several years. Now I'm going in with the Kiko lipstick. And the color is called Smart. It's the Fusion Lipstick Rogue. I think I got this for $6 when I was in Miami to go see my cousin, so that was cool. It does have the logo sign on the lipstick KK. Kim Kardashian should have done that. I'm not sure how her lipsticks are. Let me know. So I took my eyeliner E05 from Sigma and I put the Snow Kingdom right on that inner corner right there just like a dab line but that color man is vibrant 
Finally, I go in with the Joa Beauty setting spray. You could get this at CVS, like I said. It's only like eight bucks. And that's really it for this look. I really hope you liked my video. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what other looks you would like me to do. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day, guys.